We all want success, yet so many of us are unclear about what success is and how to achieve success. In this video, we look at the starting point in the foundations of being successful, looking at recycling. If you're hungry to succeed, then this series has been designed specifically for you, giving you tips and clarity on elements that make us successful in a given endeavour, and how to follow through to be successful. In the last part we looked at the importance of action, and how we can stay on course when taking action towards our goals. Today's video will be focused on recycling, whereby we use what we've learnt previously from the series to reapply in other areas of our lives, thus working to make continuous improvements and progress towards our given goals. Before we go into recycling, let's just reiterate what's covered as part of this series. Number 1. Ideas Number 2. Planning Number 3. Motivation Number 4. Action Number 5. Recycling Make sure to watch the other parts, as the structure requires each facet to be applied correctly if you want to see results to match your ambition. The term recycling isn't too commonly used when talking about achieving success and following a process towards a goal, but it's an invaluable asset in terms of repeating success for compounding effects and growth. Let's take an example. You might want to lose weight and decide you need to exercise to achieve your desired goal. Now if you exercise one time, following a regimented process that focuses on losing weight, will it achieve your desired outcome? Of course not. In order for exercise to be effective in achieving your goal, you need to do regular exercise, and its long term effects will only really be seen after you've spent a significant period of time doing regular exercise. The same goes with the process we've outlined as part of this series, with ideas, planning, motivation and action. These principles need to be considered and applied as a repeatable process. Now the key here is understanding how to apply this at a macro and micro level. Number 1. Macro The macro is the overarching goal that you are trying to achieve, meaning it might be the vision you originally set out for yourself and then applying the principles in the process to this. So for example, let's say you intend to run a home business, how do the steps apply here? Your idea The idea for the macro is going to be very high level, such as it being a vision of you working from home, or working in your own office, doing something you love, such as online marketing and consultancy. From here, you have to grow your idea into understanding feasibility, applying the concepts we discussed in this video about ideas, how they're formed and how to start working to act on them to really start shifting them from thoughts into action. In the case of running an online marketing business, this might be to start investigating the market for feasibility, researching other businesses in the same field and understand core elements of what you need to do in order to make your idea into reality. Again, this is focused on the macro, so it's not expected that you'll have all the details to how you achieve your long term idea, but rather understanding the general foundations you need in place to make it possible. Project Planning Following on from ideas, you need to plan setting up your business, going from high level research and understanding, to starting the steps to breaking down the micro levels of work you need to do in order to achieve your high level goal. Here, you might be focusing on various foundations for your business, such as social media, consulting and standalone courses, to name just a few ideas. As part of the project planning, you need to start focusing on what you need to do for each and how long is needed to build each foundation, putting in place design and timescales to make your idea a reality. From here comes the next step, your motivation. Part of your motivation, the long term motivation to be precise, should have come from the point of when you conceived your idea, as part of the process is to understand why you want to do what you want to. This might be financial freedom or the flexibility of choice in your working hours. Whatever it is, as part of your long term goal, you need clarity on your long term motivation, the two often going hand in hand. However, then you can start focus on the short term motivation too, looking at why you build each of the foundations of your business and how it contributes to your long term goal. For example, 
having multiple foundations in consultancy, social media and courses, you build multiple income streams, distributing your potential sources of income for your business and therefore building greater stability in the instance should one of those streams become unavailable at any point. Action After planning your project, it's critical to take action, as that's where the practical element of work really comes in. The key is to follow the project plan as best you can and get your head down and work. Here, the key is to have patience, a critical word when considering the macro, as work compounds to yield results, but it takes time to build something where you see the results. Just as we saw with exercise, one workout won't do much, but do it daily and it compounds. The same goes for taking action, a single day's work may not show many results but keep at it and you'll soon find you're on your way to achieving your macro goal. However, from the macro level application of the process, we can recycle the process at micro levels. Number 2. Micro The micro level is where you focus on the details. So whereas in the macro we thought about the foundations to build our online marketing business on, at the micro level you need to consider how you build each foundation. In the macro process, this will be considered and designed during the planning phase of your project, during which time you start reapplying the process to the micro level. For example, one of the foundations we discussed was consultancy, so how do we apply the process for this foundation at the micro level? Ideas While the macro level idea is to build an online marketing business, the micro level idea for consultancy will be to start understanding and researching the principal idea of providing consultancy, how it can be applied in online marketing and the feasibility of it as a source of income. Following on from recycling the ideas process, you move towards planning. Once you've understood what you want to build around the consultancy foundation and confirmed it's feasible to do, you then need to work out how you're going to apply it. This will be breaking down the services you offer as a consultant, thinking about how you deliver your services and how much you will charge. In addition to this, you need to consider other micro details, such as how you will sell this service, as you won't have a queue of clients waiting for you when you first start. At this point, you can again recycle this process for each individual segment of your foundation. Motivation As you think of ideas and are planning to achieve your goals, you have to have clear motivations for each. Again, long term and short term motivations will apply. For example, with consulting, your long term motivation is to build one of the foundations to your business, with short term motivations being to develop each segment that make the foundation not only a reality, but a successful reality. As you get deeper into the micro, what you'll find is your motivations more and more focus on the short term motivations, whereby you'll focus more on the day to day and less so on the macro. However, the key here is to never lose sight of the macro, which remains the key as to why you're doing all of this. Action Much like motivations, as you delve deeper into the micro, your actions follow suit in terms of where your focus lies. You'll focus more on the day to day and even hour by hour, depending on what you are working on. When you take action at the micro level, work hard and focus on your end goal for the given task. At the micro level, your goal and targets are short term, so you should be working towards the short term. While for the macro action you need to maintain patience as it takes time, at the micro level you need to work with intensity to ensure your tasks are done. Using our analogy of working out, we work out and need patience to see the results of our work, but during each individual workout, you need to work out with intensity for the results to come to fruition. As you work towards your goal, follow the process and learn to apply it over and over again, you will see phenomenal benefits. It's a process that's reusable and effective, offering you the option to scale it as necessary. By applying it over and over, you'll find that it helps structure your plan and progress towards your goal, helping you get on the path of living a life of great success. I would love to know in which aspect you intend to apply the success process. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this, 
please leave a like and share this with others as we aim to help people live life on their terms and subscribe for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest content. Thanks for watching.